Hi there, everyone. This is Darkshot 2K7, aka Sonic Sky Station. Okay, um. Alright, um, y'all ain't gonna believe I'm making this video, but I felt like I had to do this because I never thought, I, because this kid needs, this kid needs all the defense he can get. I'm in, this, and I think hell froze it over. I'm actually gonna do it, I'm actually gonna be doing LeBron James a big favor. And as much as I, like I said, as much as I li like to talk shit, like to shit on that man, I, at some point, there's gonna be some days where even I have to go and defend, go have to defend one of his kids. Today be, today will be first, and who knows, maybe not, maybe not the last. You never know, now, you never know. But what am I talking about? Okay, so apparently, uh, so apparently LeBron, LeBron James' son, Bronny James, or I like to call him Bron Bron. Thanks. Oh, no, no, no. I think he have, I'm, not, I'm not sure if I can call him that. I think he got LeBron James got that one copyright. I'm not sure. Well, apparently he he went to a prom. He went to a prom, and his prom date was a beautiful was a beautiful girl. I mean, she was beautiful to be say the least. But there was one problem that made the whole fucking internet and idiots coming out losing their shit. What am I talking about, you ask? Oh yeah. LeBron James and Prom Date is a white girl. See, a Becky. A snow bunny. <sighs> you know, for those of you who don't know what a snow bunny is, a snow bunny is a white girl, okay? Okay, you got it? You get it? Good. Yeah, I mean, to normal folks, to normal people, like myself, no, I, no, well, to normal folk, normal people, and normal black foot people, like myself, we was like, oh, okay, you got some nice girl, come on. With your bad stuff, my dude. It's all well good, but to woke, but to black women and and one incident, Dr. Umar Johnson, they had a fucking they had a fucking meltdown and a and a fucking fit of <laughs> reporters. Like seriously, I mean, I could make a joke on this one, but it's but it requires me not. Yes, because apparently. Apparently, poor uh, Bronny James had decided to get raked over the fucking coals, all because he wanted, all because he wanted to go to the prom. With, he brought a white woman, a white girl, to the prom. Nobody had a problem with it, but apparently, we got idiots like, like Dr. Umar Johnson, who decided to go and attack him because apparently, oh, he's, because I, I bet you it's one of those idiots who go on the whole, oh well, Bron, Bronny. LeBron James's kid should be should be dating or have a relationship with a white woman. He needs to date with his own fucking race. I mean, really? Cause, cause you know it's funny. Cause I keep hearing people saying love has no color. You know, love has no color and everything. So I guess it's okay. It's so stupid. Apparently, what these idiots are, are trying to push, they're trying to push the whole black people can't marry outside their own, can't marry or date outside their own fucking race. They have to date, date or marry in their own fucking race, like stay in their lane kind of bullshit, which is stupid. Which is really stupid if you ask me, because I felt like any, like anybody can, if like anybody can choose who they want to, want to get a relationship, date fall in love or spend the rest of the time is and it doesn't and besides it doesn't matter what skin color they have what skin color they have what nas what ethnicity they have what country they from none of if they if a person loves someone that should be an all to be all things but you but and also it's like it's funny you know what? <laughs> you know what? I bet you black women. No, I bet you the most black women who are saying this shit. I'm not not all, but some. I bet you there's ones who saying that shit. I bet you they're the ones who say it. But at the same time, secretly, they probably got. They probably out here. Um, they're probably out here. Um, dating or getting married to a white dude. A white dude. A Korean dude. Uh, an Asian dude, a Muslim dude, a Hispanic dude. The list goes fucking on and on and on and on and on. Now, will they be criticized for it? Will they be criticized for it? Hell fucking no. 
they won't be criticized over that. But it seems like it's okay for them to criticize a black man for black man in, or in, or or in this case, Bronny James for wanting to date some to want to, to bring a white girl to a fucking pro, high school prom. It's a high school prom for God's sakes. And besides, why the fuck would anybody else care? Why the fuck is that even important to you? I mean, we got bigger issues to worry about, but no, for some reason, that's a fucking issue. Because of course it's a fucking issue. To, to black people, they have to make everything a fucking issue. And I'm actually sick and tired of that shit. Let the kid do, I mean, let Brody James do whatever the fuck he wants. You can't control this man's life. You don't, you, he's not your person. And don't try to push the whole, oh, well, he should be kicked out of the black community. Motherfucker, motherfucker, who, which one of you niggas died and, and claimed yourself to be, to be the uh, gatekeepers of the black community? Because basically, from what I'm seeing, from what I'm seeing, you idiots posting shit, what Dr. Omar posted on this, it's like you want to hold us down. Hold us the fuck down instead of, instead of bettering ourselves. I mean, for real, though. Like, for real. For real. Let Bronny James date whoever the fuck he wants. Worry about your own fucking shit, alright? So goddamn stupid. All because he brought a white girl to a... White, white girl to a fucking prom. And you got... And y'all and y'all in your... And y'all in your goddamn fucking feelings about it. And, and, and also, he decided to go out and call... Call it LeBron James. I mean, shit. I mean, do you guys never heard of interracial, interracial marriage? Interracial marriage? Cause you know, and inter interracial relationships. Cause you know, blacks can marry. Cause it, it, it seems like what you guys are doing is that you don't want black people to be in interracial marriages. They got to be in married to one. Pacific race. I mean, if that's not racist, I don't know what it is. And also, this is a. It also, it's kind of like segregate. You want to put segregation in dating? Yeah, because that worked so fucking well back in the back in the sixties. Oh wait, it didn't. It never. It never worked out. It was bad, real bad. Yet you want to bring this shit up. Because oh, I feel oppressed. Like the old saying goes, you stop being a victim. You need to people. Y'all need to stop being a victim. You stop being a victim, you can better your life. But you don't want to do that. You don't want to. It's like you. Y'all some. I swear. But yeah, man. I mean, leave Bronny James alone. I mean, he's a kid. If he wants to bring somebody up. Bring someone um, to a prom, regardless of their skin color, that's his say. But I will say this. If you force this kid to have to apologize to you guys because you feel some type of way, you know better than those, you know better than those actual real white races that you claim you're against. So anyway, Bronny James, you do you, man. You do you. And LeBron James, as much as I, much as I give you heat for this man, as much as I give it, as much as I give heat for you for what you do in the NBA with my Lakers, hey, I have to step in. I have to step in, step in to defend your son, man. I have to defend your son. All right. So you know, I would. There's something I have a coat. I have a coat. I can talk shit about you, no cap, but I won't go after your family. Your, not your wife, not your kids. That's why I cook. And when I see so, and I see shit like this, I gotta defend your kid, man. I got to defend your fucking kid. That's just me. I have a code. I had a code. I got a code, man. I can talk shit about you, but I won't talk shit about your kids or your wife. All right. So just putting that out there. But to all you black women out here, still upset about this shit? Worry about your own damn selves, right? Worry about y'all. Shit. All oh, y'all, all oh, you motherfuckers kid. But not some, but all, not some black women, but most, not not all black women, but some of y'all motherfuckers, the fuckers feel, always feel this type of way. Yet you spend tens of millions of dollars on fucking hair extensions, weaves, nails, 
lip gloss, pocketbooks, shoes, dresses, all that other bullshit. Bullshit, and you still, and yet you still won't have, yeah, you still won't have enough money to get, pay off your own fucking bills, or find yourself a good, a good loyal black man who, who treats you right, but you want to treat them like shit because, that's yas, bitch. Anyway, that's just my two cents on the whole thing. Fuck these, fuck these jealous ass black black women, and fuck you. And fuck you, Dr. Umar Johnson. Leave the kid alone, man. Shoot. I, I swear to all, I, like I said, I swear to almighty God, these pro-black motherfuckers are the, are the worst thing to ever happen to black, are the worst thing to ever happen to the black community since the whole crack, crack epidemic in, in South, in South LA. Fucking wait. Fucking. Like the old saying goes, we ain't never gonna make a movie. You got idiots like, Dr. Umar Johnson running around spouting all this bullshit. Oh, oh, I'm offended. Oh, I'm offended because he he's praising how he has a beautiful white woman. He ain't praising about he got a beautiful white. I can hear. I mean, seriously. I mean, Dr. Umar Johnson is a fucking idiot. Ooh, LeBron James is a, is a, is is a terrible for the black community for bringing a white snow buddy to the prom. Who gives a fuck?